Better. So if you've just tuned into Real Health, we're talking about gut health and what you can do to make sure that you have a healthy, functioning gut. And we're always on the lookout for alternative therapies for you to include in your quest to attain better health. One such therapy is colon hydrotherapy. And we chatted to Africa's only clinically certified therapist, Bryony Boerta, and got some great gut restoring tips. Let's have a look. Colon therapy is a naturopathic therapy that's been practiced since the early Egyptian times in different forms. But obviously now we have modern equipment that allows us to clean the colon out in a very safe, very controlled way. The colon is obviously separate from the rest of the digestive system. And obviously the colon is the dustbin of your digestive system. So in the same way that you would clean out your dustbin at home, you're going to clean out the last section of your colon. So like I've been doing colon therapy for 16 years now. and. Besides the actual physically cleaning out of the colon, it has so many different aspects to it. And having seen over all of these years, when you clean the colon, what, what happens to people's bodies? They sleep better, they have flatter tummies. There's symptoms that they have like headaches or nausea or fatigue just disappear. But obviously diet is a huge part of this. And so one of the other great things about colon therapy is that I get to get someone for an hour on a bed where they're not going nowhere and I can teach them about nutrition and what they should be putting into their body whilst we're doing that. The whole basis of colonics is to actually clean out the colon um, and detoxify the system. And when you detoxify the system, balance out the bacteria, take out gross parasites, that kind of thing. You actually change health on all levels. And any naturopathic person or even integrative physician will tell you that sorting out the gut is the absolute first step in fixing any, any problem. I always say to people that when you eat bread, for instance, you're essentially eating flour, mixing it with water and getting glue. This is why our colons get impacted. So we need to clear those things in order for the body to function properly. We're eating too many grains, we don't eat any sour foods. We're eating so much sweet, sweet stuff. We should be eating sauerkraut, things that actually help us digest. Apple cider vinegar, these are things that we just don't have in our diets anymore. Candida is something that we're born with. It's one of the bad bacteria that we have in our colons and it keeps the good bacteria in check because we need both of them at the same time. So if you um, have a lot of candida and we can remove some of it, your good bacteria can then come, in, come into play and start keeping it back in check. When somebody's actually releasing, we can see the gut bacteria. And when it's perfectly in balance, you won't see anything on the tube. You just see clear stool and water. But when there's a lot of bacteria in the colon that's unbalanced, you actually see the excess bacteria and you see the parasite nests coming out. Just about anyone can do colon therapy. Um, we have a list of contraindications that we're trained to screen people on. Um, if we have any doubts whatsoever, we always refer to a physician. But the majority of people that come in, we're able to treat. And if we have somebody who, for instance, has an irritable bowel syndrome, we might treat them four or five times, get their diet right, change their supplementation, and get them into a place where they're very comfortable. And then they might, they might find that after every couple of th months, they may need just a top-up treatment just to get them back. And generally what happens is, We'll do top-up treatments for a couple of years maybe, like every couple of months, and then that person will not need us anymore. So it just depends on you know, how we can change the diet and how we can find what works specifically for them. So I've gone to see Bryony and I can tell you that it's not just a physical experience, it's a very emotional experience. And now we know why, because we've been chatting about the gut-brain link, the emotions that are attached to our guts as well. So why don't you go and try it out and then let us know what you think about uh, the experience. We'll give you our details at the end of the show. So kimchi, kefir, sauerkraut and natto are just some fermented foods that work wonders in restoring your intestinal flora. Ladies, which other foods should we be including in our diets to make sure we've got healthy guts? Yeah, I think you mentioned the most important prebiotic foods. Yeah. And um, if the viewers don't know what a prebiotic is, it, it, it basically feeds the probiotics. Absolutely. Okay. So you're feeding the good, bacteria the good bacteria to proliferate yes. and thrive and just keep your gut healthy. So prebiotics are very, very important. But also, you have to think about inflammation. So if your yes. gut's in a pro-inflammatory state, um, especially if you can feel that you're bloated and just uncomfortable, you can maybe do a pH litmus test and see where your inflammation is. Um, make sure that you include more anti-inflammatory food than pro-inflammatory. Avocado is my favorite. Mm. Um, it's such an amazing superfood and your leafy greens. Absolutely. And then also, if you want to heal your gut, 
cabbage juice is amazing oh, wow. because it's high in glutamine. And oh, glutamine, yes. you can either take the powdered form, which I love, I just yeah, put it into my, my smoothie no, for everything. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> but if you have leaky gut or, you know, you're just struggling with your gut and you want to make sure that you're healing and repairing and strengthening mm. the gut lining, Glutamine is, is cardinal. Mm. It's an amino acid, it's an amino acid. that yeah. fuels the, the gut cells yeah. to replicate and just strengthen the gut line. And you'll again. sleep like a baby as well. I mean, yeah. I use it after gym. So. Brian, you also suggested taking gelatin. Gelatin is because of the, the, the protein in it. So it coats your, it coats your okay. lining, yeah. to okay. you know, to, as she said, to sort of, de you know, defend itself against, you yes. know, any, you yes. know, any so irritants. That healing process. Yes, yeah, any irritants or okay. any inflammatory food that might actually, you know, sort of abrace it during that I time. I also, mm -hmm. I mean, one of the doctors that I saw, a naturopathic doctor said to me, you can go and buy an expensive probiotic and maybe in the, in the beginning you need it, yeah. but a good dose of, I take a tablespoon of kefir in the morning and in the mm. evening and he's like, there's more than enough yeah. in there to help keep your, your digestive system working. Is that mm. something that you would suggest as well? Oh, no, absolutely. absolutely. Kefir, yeah. Yeah. I think as you mentioned, Stacey, if someone is really um, presenting with gut issues, a probiotic alongside a prebiotic, just to give the good bacteria okay. to your gut, to be able to feed it with a prebiotic, which is the kefir. Yeah. So, yeah, definitely. Yeah. I still take my probiotic, even though I'm not struggling right. with my gut anymore, yeah. just for maintenance and making sure I'm getting the two main probiotics that you need, which is the lactobacillus yes. acidophilus, and, yes. and, and LA, the yeah, and the bifidobacterium, Absolutely. also the, um, BB. Okay. So those are the two main um, probiotics you need in your gut from top to bottom to make sure that it's re Gosh, and we could do an entire people... show on probiotics. Because <laughs> I was going to say, <laughs> a lot of people don't actually look out for that, the BB and, yes. and, yeah. and the lactobacillus. Yeah. And also the units, how many you actually yes. need. Yeah. It's 25 to 100 billion, not yeah. million. million. Yeah. It's 100 billion. <laughs> what are we giving people because I know I honestly know this is we have Huge. literally just scraped the surface wow. scratched the surface oh, so it's like okay what 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 is the first step in getting people onto or getting them to get better um, to achieve better gut health I, I think I mean obviously I'm coming from my side of, of calming the nervous system but I think they need to be holistic they need to yeah. look at what they're eating they need to look at mm. um, you know replenishing the, the, the gut flora they need to eat you know, consciously and rest is, is vitally important yes. as well. You know, yeah. we, people are just far too stressed. Mm. Remove the inflammatory foods. And that will have to be, you'll have to be mindful. You'll yeah. have to know what you ate. You'll have to keep a food diary, as you yeah. say. Yeah. So remove what it is that is the, the stimulant. Mm -hmm. Two, you have to replace what is good. Okay. Replace what is good, so you replace it now with the good food. Yeah. So you sort of introduce the good foods back into into your diet, as you mentioned, the leafy greens, yes. the sauerkraut, yes. you, know, mm. you know, you know, and the digestive enzymes as well. Mm. Supplement on digestive enzymes. Enzymes, yes. Enzymes, yes. digestive yeah. enzymes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. They'll also help with your, you know, with the digestion. Mm. Re-inoculate your gut, yeah. like okay. you said. So if it's all wiped out, yeah. re-inoculate, yeah. reintroduce. Start and from give scratch. yourself that good first three to yes. six weeks. Yes, three to yeah. six weeks. Okay. Don't be hasty. Mm. And then... Also, replenish, like she said, yes. replenish your gut lining, mm. your L-glutamine, your mm. antioxidants, so it's vitamin A, vitamin mm. C, vitamin E, your zinc, your, your, your oily fish, yeah. um, you know, you yeah. know the, the list goes on. Basically, mm. just replenish your gut lining, be kind to your gut lining, yeah. and also a lot of broths and soups. Explore what's causing your gut issues. Nice one, yeah. Not just with the food diary, it may... You know, you may need the help of a natural health practitioner yeah. yes. or whoever can help you to discover what's causing the gut issues yeah. or symptoms related to your gut issues. And then personalize your, your approach to mm. that and, and address it from the aware. roots. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And rebalance. And mm. that's all about your lifestyle. Yes. Do you sleep enough? Yeah. Not sleeping enough yeah. doesn't directly influence your gut per se, but it affects your, your stress, leptin. your emotions, yes. your yeah. leptin, your ghrelin, yeah. so mm. many hormones, yeah. and your relationship with food. Mm. Oh, we can have an Stunning. entire show on that. Oh. Like the mindfulness, the yeah. emotional eating, because yeah. if you're emotionally eating, you're going to choose all the wrong foods, gulping mm. it down, Absolutely. not being mindful about it, and you're going to be in a stress state and not digesting those yeah. foods. So that's a completely different angle. What's causing it and what do you need to address physically, physiologically or emotionally yeah. and this or is in your diet? And this is what is holistic Absolutely. at the end of the day. I'll yeah. tell you what worked for me and, and unfortunately we have run out of time is visualization and meditation. Mm. And if you see your body, we've been talking about inflammation and that you know your gut health is in a poor state, then just picture what it looks like in the bad state and then re-engineer the yeah. picture of good health. So for me, I saw my body as red and inflamed mm. and then I saw this blue light coming in and calming everything down and restoring the good bacteria. Even though I wasn't physically taking anything, 
everything in at that point in time. And it did wonders for me. So that's my little wow. tip as well. But ladies, thank you so much for joining us in studio. Do you have a story or solution relating to gut health? Why not share your personal experience with us? We'd love to hear from you. Email us on info at thehomechannel.co.za. Also, if you want to get in touch with our amazing guests on today's show, you can visit thehomechannel.co.za for more detail. And until next time, goodbye and stay healthy. And remember our healthy mantra, you are healthy, vibrant, and we love and take care of your being. Cheers. I'm feeling better now. I'm feeling better. 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 I'm feeling better